I'm not ashamed. How are the Levites cleansed for the service of the Lord? This is the question that we seek to answer today as we continue our verse by verse study of the book of Numbers on Walking Through the Bible. As this is our first episode of 2021, we'd like to wish all of our viewers a happy new year and pray that you will either begin or will continue serving the Lord this year. If you have a Bible with you, you can turn to Numbers chapter 8. We're going to be reading from verses 1 to 12. If you don't have a Bible, don't worry. Just follow along with us on the screen. The version that we'll be reading from is the New King James Version. So, Numbers chapter 8, beginning at verse 1. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron and say to him, when you arrange the lamps, the seven lamps shall give light in front of the lampstand. And Aaron did so. He arranged the lamps to face towards the front of the lampstand, as the Lord commanded Moses. Now this workmanship of the lampstand was hammered gold. From its shaft to its flowers it was hammered work. According to the pattern which the Lord had shown Moses, so he made the lampstand. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Take the Levites from among the children of Israel and cleanse them ceremonially. Thus you shall do to them to cleanse them. Sprinkle water of purification on them, and let them shave all their body, and let them wash their clothes, and so make themselves clean. Then let them take a young bull of its grain offering of fine flour mixed with oil, and you shall take another young bull as a sin offering. And you shall bring the Levites before the tabernacle of meeting, and you shall gather together the whole congregation of the children of Israel. So you shall bring the Levites before the Lord, and the children of Israel shall lay their hands on the Levites, and Aaron shall offer the Levites before the Lord like a wave offering from the children of Israel, that they may perform the work of the Lord. Then the Levites shall lay their hands on the heads of the young bull, and you shall offer at one as a sin offering, and the other as a burnt offering to the Lord, to make atonement for the Levites." In this chapter, we're going to be focusing largely on the consecration of the Levites for the service in the tabernacle. The Levites here would not be the priests, but would be those assisting the priests in the work of the tabernacle. But before we get there, verses 1 to 4 has Moses giving Aaron instructions for the golden candlestick. In our study of Exodus, we saw instructions for how the golden candlestick was to be made. In Exodus 25, verses 31 to 39, we read, you shall also make a lampstand of pure gold. The lampstand shall be of hammered work. Its shaft, its branches, its bowls, its ornamental knobs, and flowers shall be of one piece. And six branches shall come out of its sides, three branches of the lampstand out of one side, and three branches of the lampstand out of the other side. Three bowls shall be made like almond blossoms on one branch, with an ornamental knob and a flower, and three bowls made like almond blossoms on the other branch with an ornamental knob and a flower. And so for the six branches that come out of the lampstand. On the lampstand itself, four bowls shall be made like almond blossoms, each with its ornamental knob and flower. And there shall be a knob under the first two branches of the same, a knob under the second two branches of the same, and a knob under the third two branches of the same, according to the six branches that extend from the lampstand. Their knobs and their branches shall be of one piece, all of it shall be one hammered piece of pure gold. You shall make seven lamps for it, and they shall arrange its lamps so they give light in front of it. And its wicks, wick trimmers and their tray shall be of pure gold. It shall be made of a talent of pure gold with all these utensils. We know from Exodus that this candlestick was made according to these instructions, so why do we have here in Numbers 8 more instructions, or at the very least a repetition of instructions? I don't know, but we do. And what we have is a record of which way the golden candlestick was faced, which is towards the front of the lampstand, in order to give light across the room of the to the table of showbread, meaning the lamps of the candlestick face north. Moving on now to verse 5, we begin our look at the purification of the Levites to serve in the tabernacle. Under the law of Moses, one couldn't approach God unless they were ceremonially clean. That included the people in general and those who ministered in the tabernacle. In Exodus and Leviticus, we saw the process for sanctifying the priests. But here in Numbers, we saw that God called the Levites to also work in the tabernacle, but not as priests. Therefore, they needed to be cleansed as well. The way that this was done was that the Levites would be sprinkled with the water of purification. They would shave their entire body, and their clothes would be washed. 
This would make them ceremonially clean. However, they still weren't ready to work in the tabernacle yet because they needed to have offered the required sacrifices. They were to take a young bull with its grain offering of fine flour mixed with oil along with another young bull as a sin offering. From the language here in verse 10 and the animals that were used, a bull instead of a lamb, it is evident these, that these sacrifices were offered on behalf of the old, whole tribe of Levi, not that each Levite had to bring these animals for sacrifice. When the Levites came to be sanctified among the people, the children of Israel would lay their hands on the Levites, their show of approval, and Aaron would offer the Levites before the Lord like a wave offering before the Lord so that they could perform the work of the tabernacle. This wave offering, of course, was symbolic to show that the Levites were the Lord's and would work in his service in the tabernacle. After this, the Levites would lay their hands on the heads of the young bull and offer one as a sin offering and another as a burnt offering to the Lord. After all of this was done, the Levites would be ready to serve the Lord in the tabernacle. We'll continue with this, the Lord willing, in the next lesson. With that, our time is up for today. Lord willing, we hope you'll join us for tomorrow's discussion of Numbers chapter 8, verses 13 to 22, as we continue our walk through the Bible, one verse at a time. I'm not a Thank you for watching today's episode. We hope that you found it edifying and ask that you not only subscribe to our channel and podcast, but that you like and share this episode among your friends so that the saving gospel of Jesus Christ can go out to the whole world.